Good afternoon, everyone. This is Eric Lamar, host of A Whole New Me Show and founder of A Whole New Me Lifestyle Transformation. You know, I'm excited to be talking about this topic this afternoon, and I'm glad you're taking time to tune in. If you're watching this replay, please share this information and turn on your notifications so that whenever you catch or see a notification of a video that I'm gonna be bringing. I hope you know that I only seek to bring valuable content, life-changing content, and things that impact us as human beings emotionally each and every day. Try not to bring you anything that's frivolous or that's going to waste your time. As you're coming on, I'm interested in knowing where you're listening from, so please just drop a comment below. Let me know where you're listening in from, what country, what city, and Today's topic, we're going to be talking about overcoming credit challenges. This is a very, very personal topic for myself. I've been very transparent, but we're not just going to talk about the problem. I'm going to give you some tips and nuggets, and I'm going to give you a major solution that I want you to take advantage of. Not only yourself, but anyone you love, any business partners or associates, family members that can benefit because I tell you what, this issue of credit is a super debilitating issue. It's almost like a disease. And when a person has a credit challenge, it really kind of handicaps them. Now, I want you to make sure you understand that the purpose of this video and the purpose of this message today is not encouraging living on credit. You have a lot of people out there that have been burned with credit issues or have had challenges in the past. And so it's always cash only, cash only. If you don't have the money, don't, don't buy it. Well, I get that. And I do agree with that for the most part. But what we're talking about today is financial empowerment. I don't know of too many individuals that are walking around with their bank accounts with a quarter of a million dollars sitting in the checking account to be able to go buy a home when they get ready to. Now, there may be people like that. But I don't know a lot of people. I do know some, but I don't know a lot of people. So this conversation today is for everyday working, hardworking individuals who have dreams and goals and ambitions. You know, 2007, 2008, we had a market downturn. And I don't know exactly where you live. Olivia, welcome, thanks. She's here in Florida, she's in my area. You know, I don't know where you personally may live, but in the communities where I live, there were people hurt badly from the last economic downturn. They lost their homes. I lost a home also. And so the point is, is that bad things happen to good people. So when you're dealing with the credit challenge, the message I want you to understand is that that does not mean you're a bad person because I don't consider myself a bad person. I'm an entrepreneur. I've always tried to provide good content, good quality uh, products and services. But sometimes when you're just a secret in your neighborhood and no one knows that you really exist and you didn't have the dollars to scream from the mountaintop and run TV commercials and radio commercials. And years ago, we didn't have social media the same way we do now. It was difficult sometimes to run a business. So when you are that person that really wants to be that entrepreneur, sometimes you will just run it into the ground and that's what I did. And so I suffered, but I've been able to recover. So the main thing I want you to understand is that just because there's a challenge, that's not an indication of who you are. It really says about the character because you have fought through it. And so if you're listening in now, I really want you to take some notes because this is designed to give you some encouragement. Today you may be dealing with bill collectors. I don't know what the level of issue that you personally may be uh, dealing with, but you know, you could have experienced identity theft. You ever heard of friends or personally uh, experienced someone that may have had people trying to open up utilities in their names and perhaps file taxes in a person's name or try to open up a credit card in your name? If you ever see envelopes that come in the mail that has a variation of your name, 
that means someone has probably tried to use your name somewhere and it gets caught up in the mail system. Yeah, that's what that means. If you go to a website called identitytheft.gov, there is a plethora of information that defines what our government tells you identity theft is. You'll be surprised. By identity theft so I want you to keep that in mind as well perhaps the stress of bill collectors is affecting your sleep maybe it's affecting your relationships maybe it's just causing you stress work is it just seems like you can't make enough money on the job because the bills are, are mounting up there is a solution for all of that and I want you to just rest well and knowing that there is a solution to those challenges for you so if you have questions as i'm going through please feel free to throw a question in at the bottom and i'm glad that you've been able to join and so i'm going to dive into a few things because july 6th is a very special day that i want to see as many of you possible in tampa florida if you've heard me talk about my story of overcoming credit challenges health challenges, weight challenges. A whole new me is just now ramping up. The steam is starting to build and we're putting the gas to the flames. Our goal is to help tens of thousands of families around the world deal with some of the most challenging issues with the most simplest solutions. You see, my story was last year, I personally was dealing with credit scores below 500 on one and below 600 on the other two. My TransUnion score was 454, and I was able to take that score up to 723 in roughly five months. My Equifax score was 582, and I've been able to take that score up to 723. My Experian score was 589, and I was able to take that up to 803. Now, I don't tell you those scores to brag because what was bringing those scores down were bankruptcies, judgments, tax liens, collections. And so as I've helped a numerous amount of customers, I have yet to see anyone that has had a worse case to deal with than my own. So when I talk about the bankruptcies, yeah, I had a foreclosure years ago. And in fighting that foreclosure, I used strategies that were given to me that I learned, but I realized weren't the best strategies, and those were Chapter 13 bankruptcies to stall the process. So in having those bankruptcies, I didn't bankrupt anything. I didn't have anything to bankrupt, but all it did was stall the process. I'm not telling you that to give you that as a tip. That is not a tip. However, what I am saying is that those two bankruptcies have haunted me when I try to get business credit, business credit cards, because the first thing they see is, well, if you've filed bankruptcy before, then you probably will file bankruptcy again. I don't want them having that impression of me. So these two bankruptcies were reporting on four different credit bureaus that are critical bureaus. To date, seven of those have been removed. Yes, you can remove bankruptcies. You do not have to choose to stick with what most people say. It has to stay on your credit for seven to 10 years. That is incorrect. It has been taken off my credit. I have one last one, and but the rest of everything, I've been able to obtain credit cards, business credit cards. I just talked to Sonova's bank I'll be going in talking with them about a line of credit program that they have that I've been waiting, that I couldn't qualify before because my Equifax score didn't qualify. So as I was getting at July 6th, I am launching with my team of CPAs, financial advisors, my personal mentor, mortgage brokers, our first in Tampa credit and financial power growth workshop.
this is going to be a six month workshop where I'm going to be teaching you. And first of all, to my knowledge, it's the first of its kind, because what this is designed to do is to bridge the gap between someone doing it for you, which we have that service available for customers. We have people that hire us to clean their credit up for them. And we have our system and our strategies and it's working beautifully as of within the last 60 days. I know we have eliminated close to $5,000 in collections debt for our customers. I love getting those letters from collections, uh, collection agencies after they've gotten our letter, because that letter goes something like this. We've received your response. Your account is closed. We will no longer attempt to collect anything from you. And by the way, we have notified the credit agencies to, or the credit bureaus to remove us from your file. That is what we call a win because before you pay another dime to collection agencies, I'm not saying you don't owe them. You have to challenge the debt nine times out of 10. You do not owe that debt. I'm telling you, they'll respond. Now, some of them will respond and they'll try to flex. Here's why we say you owe us the money. And we have a response for that as well. Until we find out if you honestly owe that money. And there is a way of finding that out. So this is the first of its kind. Again, you can pay a company to clean your credit up for you, or you can try to go do it yourself. But this is going to be the first of its kind workshop where we're gonna bridge and marry the two. What this means is we're gonna do it with you. I'm gonna teach you the 10, yes. There are 10 critical credit bureaus and reporting agencies, seven of which most of you listening may not have ever heard of. And we're gonna teach you how these impact your life. How do they impact your life? Well, most of you are familiar with TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. You may check your credit karma and your other uh, score sites, and you just keep checking on all three of them. But did you know that they have places that report the information to them? You just thought your creditors reported that information. Other people report to them as well, and that's where they get their information. So if you have a company that's just cleaning up your credit and all they're doing is the three bureaus, which is a start, I want to commend you for taking action. But when they delete that information and then someone else is still supplying them with information and it comes back on your credit, what good did it do if you did not kill off the source of messaging? So we will teach you and help you with the letters and we'll show you these other bureaus that are reporting. Hardly anyone out here is teaching people the full impact of true credit restoration. So that's why we're bringing this workshop to our local area. Now, if you live outside of Tampa, you're still in luck. We have a done do it yourself online course that you can enroll in. But if you're really interested and you have a passion for helping people connect with me, because we will bring these workshops to your city. Absolutely. And then you can become certified and trained through our course and our programs so that you can become part of a whole new me and start teaching and I'll support you there. It will help you impact your financial bottom line and your education. So the next thing that we're going to help you with, besides teaching you these 10 different bureaus, is we're going to help you, um, as I mentioned, stop these debt collectors. I can't stand them. We're going to stop them. We're going to stop them from stealing from you or attempting to steal from you. We're going to teach you these 10 bureaus that you need to know. But our tax expert is going to cover one of the most important tax strategies that every family in America today should be taken advantage of. And this one strategy alone can pay for the tuition of this workshop close to 10 times. I kid you not. So you want to take advantage of this because over the next 12 months, it's going to be important that you implement these strategies so that you can put cash 
back into your budget. With this newfound cash, imagine what you can do when it comes to credit card debt, car debt, mortgage, um, savings. If you don't have a mortgage and if you want to be qualified, then you're going to get to hear from our mortgage experts because we're going to help you become mortgage qualified. And then the next benefit of this workshop is that we're going to help you obtain good credit cards. There are some credit cards that are trash, but there are some good credit cards. And when this workshop finishes, it's going to put us close to Christmas. Think about this. Imagine getting paid to do Christmas shopping because now you get to qualify and use rewards credit cards. Yeah. Christmas, I'm not promoting that you go Christmas shopping and I'm not promoting that you use a credit card. I'm hoping through the education, you will be able to get into a situation where you're paying off your credit cards. And when you have rewards credit cards, you're getting paid for using someone else's money. Isn't that amazing? If you can get paid for using someone else's money, that's even better. But without good credit, without credit scores over 720, you are not going to qualify for these types of credit cards. My, uh, I have a credit card, a, a Chase, a Chase Business Preferred card. I use that card and I pay that card off. I'll use ten to $13,000 on that card. And each month, it's paying me $300 for using their card. I like other people's money. That becomes an additional revenue source. So I want you to be thinking about those types of things. This is what we're talking about with this type of workshop. So the last thing I want to cover is the peace of mind. Imagine being able to go to sleep without worrying about stress and finances. I mean, you may now worry because this is what I worry about is, okay, how many points did my score go up this month? Well, that's a good worry because you now know that all this other negative stuff is not hanging around you anymore. That's what we want you to accomplish by attending this type of event. So if you're interested, click on the link that's above in the video description and register. The tuition to register for the course is only $397 and then it's $100 per month and you can quit at any time. But if you get to take advantage of the full six months, you will be so prepared financially for your business going into next year. I mean, I really want you to think about this. How close are you to really achieving the financial goals you set for yourself this past New Year's. Are you any closer? And if you think back years before that, are you any closer year after year? What have you done? And if you are, great. But what have you done to change the momentum so that you can start getting ahead? So I'm encouraging you to check this workshop out. It starts July 6th, Mass Mutual, I want to thank Carrie Esposito as our sponsor for the event. And so they're our financial partner. Um, we're bringing in our accountant, Annetta Washington, our mortgage broker, Gilbert Bennett, and other realtors are going to be joining us. I'm going to be teaching. My mentor is going to be teaching. My assistant will be there. One last thing. Here's how this works. All you have to do is show up with your laptop or your device that you can work off of. You need to be able to save your information to a thumb drive. We're going to give you the letters. We're going to teach you the strategy. You're going to print your letters in class, sign them. We're going to give you the labels, the envelopes, and the stamps. You're going to put everything in the envelope, label it, stamp it. We're going to take those envelopes from you, and we're going to put it in the mail for you because we want the class to run at the same time so that everyone's getting their reports back around the same time. The disputes are going out. If we have to send letters to your collection agencies, we'll send those certified. All of that's included in your tuition. And last but not least, you're going to get some healthy soul food. 
my chef is going to have food for us to begin the class. They start at six and they run to nine. So you'll have a light meal so that you have some nutrition so you won't have to be worried about food. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna take care of everything else. And I challenge you, please share this video. Take advantage of this opportunity, get on board. Get on board and take control. It's your money and it's your credit. Is someone else controlling it or are you controlling it? That's the biggest question. I hope you're choosing to control it. And by year's end, you'll be ready to start the home search and qualification. There are some mortgage programs out there that only require 1% down. Yeah, but you gotta have the credit to qualify for those. So let's get you qualified. So join up if you have questions and if you need a payment arrangement for the 397, we've got you covered there. We want to make this as easy for everyone to attend. So just click on the link, get inside, inbox me if you have questions. If this is valuable, please share. And on top of that, if you refer someone, we'll take care of you through a referral fee as well. This is Eric. Thanks for tuning in. Let's make sure that you are taking choice and control. Our team is here to help you. I'm excited. We'll see you next week at 6 o'clock.